Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aries and Aries Moon and Aries Rising Weekly Tarot reading July 16th to July 22nd 2018 Four cards spread, the first card that shows up the topic of uh, Aries is uh, weak, this is going to be the Five of Pentacles Second card represents the core of the situation here that we do have the Empress card and then the third one represents the challenges that Aries needs to overcome here <clears throat> That will be the uh, Tree of Pentacles and the last card, that will be the High Priestess as a, a guidance, alright, that Tarot gives you for that particular week. <coughs> Excuse me. So what happens here, Aries, is, is that we do have the Empress as the core of the situation, guys, and that card usually speaks for comfort, it usually speaks for maturity, but in your case, Aries, is, it speaks also for about four a plans which are made, and that is also expressed here in the uh, Eight of Pentacles, sitting on a uh, challenging position, and the topic of the week, the uh, Five of uh, the Five of Wands, speaks. Oh, Cumulatively with these three cards, uh, that week is going to go a little bit outside of your plans, alright, uh, in a sense of that uh, the things that you have planned in general may face a certain opposition or they may not be able to be executed during that particular week or uh, most likely you will have to uh, to throw in a either additional resources or either additional efforts in order to uh, be able to do the things which you have planned for that particular week. Mm. The guidance, uh, however, actually does says that you Aries will be best if you uh, just let it be. All right, just don't don't initiate um, additionally to what you have planned. Uh, in a sense of well, I'm, I'm trying to explain here, but in a sense of that, if something isn't happening according to your in investments which you have anticipated so far, just don't invest invest furthermore into it, but just uh, leave it for the moment, all right? Because the next week probably is going to be a little bit more uh, potential for you to actually take advantage of that particular situation. So in other words, this, these cards are pointing that you should not push it. But if you definitely need to push that thing through then what we need to uh, what we need to observe closely here that is the five of pentacles or the five of wands excuse me and that card first points that uh, these uh, predicaments uh, for your plans will appear during the unexpected surprises and you can uh, very well utilize those surprises by adapting your strategy toward them or according to them so in other words you will need different strategy for your uh, for what you have anticipated in order to capitalize on your plans but uh, all in all this uh, this should be quite a, a dynamic week as per said and uh, it will involve a lot of around turns, a lot of surprises and uh, as well a lot of uh, situations or turnarounds of the situations which you, uh, which you didn't predict it or you didn't actually uh, calculate it very well. Uh, it, this doesn't mean that the week is going to be very bad, just on the contrary, it, it could be very productive. The problem, however, as, as I said, is that you will have to act very, uh, act very fast and very swiftly in order to capitalize on those, um, on those surprises, because they will be outside of the frame of your plan. That is entirely what the week is going to be. So, uh, if we're talking about your relationship here, it uh, that will be a predicament with. Uh, um, you know, with the plans that you and your partner did. If it is about your career, also the, these are going to be a predicament regarding your project. You haven't. Uh, um, <clears throat> you haven't actually been able to predict and you thought that the project is now sound and secure but it turns out it is not that way and there is still additional stuff and uh, important details that you need to attend to before you actually mark it as, as a, a success but uh, most important thing as I said is to just uh, take it easy guys hold your horses and when we do have the high priestess here as a guidance it means to listen to your inner voice and for those who that sentence doesn't mean anything, um, listening to your inner voice means that you know you, you know the answers. It is just what you need to do is silence everything else. Or in other words, do not follow other people's advices and just you know do what you 
think, what you feel, should I say that way, is right and you will never be wrong. <clears throat> so that being said, Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 16th to July 22nd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.